bet I came on YouTube. Today I don't wanna speak much. I just wanna express my concerns for my fellow South African brothers and sisters. One thing I've realized living among South African people as a South African myself is that most of them don't know what they want and most of them don't know the meaning of words and most of them don't know South African cultures most of them don't know the differences between these South African cultures and South African tribes and another thing I've realized is that most South African people they don't know when was the name South Africa invented the name South Africa invent was invented in the year 1961 for those who don't know that's when South Africa started being called South Africa in 1961 not so long ago most people didn't know that but now you know before that it was called the Union of South Africa someone intelligent might ask why was it called the Union of South Africa it was called the Union of South Africa because in 19 was it 1910? You go to your research, you will help me out there. In 1910, the British leaders, the British colonizers decided they should give the, the poorers, the white poorers, the majority of a say on what happens in South Africa. So the poorers were given a majority say and a majority control over the whole South African region or the whole South, South African country but it was, it was way before it was called that so it was called the Union of South Africa because it was a combination of four colonies you know now as we know there's nine provinces in South Africa way back then it was just four colonies it was four type of colonies that the British Empire colonized here in the Southern Hemisphere you know some of them was the one that side KwaZulu. I don't remember what it was called. Another one it was the Cape Colony. Another one it was the oh there was a Natal Colony. There was a Cape Colony. There was a Free Orange Free State Colony. The other one you do your research. I give you guys you, you, you do research. So you go to your research. I'm just trying to give you a synopsis on what is really happening around you because most people didn't study history whether in school or online courses or whether reading historical books to know this information most people are ignorant to the south african history they were just born in maybe a tonga family they don't even know where their family comes from most of them were born in a zulu family tonga family Kosa family pedi family but they don't know the ins and outs and the creation of those cultures, where they come from. Most people don't even know the difference between a culture and a tradition. Most people think South African traditions are religion, you know. So that's, that's the type of people we live with. So it's good to do research, you know. It's good to go out there and try and understand what really happens around you and how the things happen the way it happened most people don't even know that the borders in Africa were created in 1980 in 1885 yes most people don't even know the borders in Africa the borders we see today in the African map were created in 1885 most people don't know that they just see the borders and they are quick to call other people who come from their neighboring countries and other people who have their own surnames but because they come from a country that is not South Africa, they are quick to call them foreigners, immigrants, makwere kwere. Most South African people don't even know what the word foreigner means. Most South African people don't even know why South Africa is called South Africa. Most people don't even know who colonized South Africa. Of course the Dutch people came first, but the British Empire came later on, you know, to colonize South Africa. But back then the Dutch people coming from the Netherlands came and they were welcomed in the Cape. That's where they started their colony and then they spread it out 
and then of course the history when you read it back it, it talks about the invention of Christianity how Christianity was introduced by missionaries in South Africa there's a story about Fervut there's a story about the Netherlands Dutch Christian Church there's all these different stories there's a story about how ZCC came about and why today is now called the Zioni Christian Church there's all these stories and most people don't even know they're just living in this South African country with all these things happening and they don't know how it came about what's the history about these things I don't know most things but most things I know and sometimes I don't like to flex my knowledge ability and my intelligence you know sometimes I don't like to flex it because what's the use what's the use you can go and do your own research and be smart and intelligent too on your own you know so South African people like to call people who are not from South Africa foreigners and I'm a query query. but they are forgetting if we take the history of South Africa back none of them were here none of their ancestors were here this land was only belonging to the people who are hunter-gatherers and those people were the Khoisan people they are the first people who were introduced to this land. Later on, of course, the Bantu people originally coming from though they at the top. Most people don't even know the Bantu people originally come from the north and the central of Africa. We can talk about Congo. We can talk about the countries up there in Africa. That's where most of the Bantu people come from. Bantu people is not just people who live in South Africa if your elders told you that Bantu people only are here in South Africa they were lying to you they probably don't know the history too Bantu people are all over Africa they are in different countries in different African regions and they didn't originally come from South Africa Bantu people didn't originate from South Africa So, people need to do research and stop being ignorant of the history and the truth. Most people, I, I recently did a video, TikTok took it down, I don't know why they took it down. Maybe I was speaking too much truth, even TikTok doesn't want people to know that truth. I did a video saying the Southern Hemisphere, the Southern African regions, the first people to occupy these lands where they the hunter gatherers people who are the Khoisan people South African people because they think they know they want to say no that history is a white man's history forgetting that South Africa was only invented in 1961 the name South Africa was created in 1961 by white people so why are you not saying that's a white man's name that's a white man country's name that's a white man most of the South African judiciary system, political system, financial system was designed by our colonizers. Why don't you go against it? It was also white people's history, most. Oh, because you're South African, you only want to accept the truth when it suits you. And when it doesn't suit you, you don't accept it. And South African people are so quick to to call people Makwere Kweres. Most of them, they don't even know their fathers. They are so quick to call South African, most, most people who go against their agendas, like me. South African people are so quick to call me a Kwere Kwere. I use my father's surname. I'm from Limpopo, I'm Tonga. I know my father's background. I know my grandfather, my father's father, my grandfather's father. I know it like deeper, going back to the roots. And if we take it way, way, way back, I, way back before there was borders my people were scattered all over Mozambique, Zimbabwe, South Africa, all over the place yes of course there was a war of Umfekane where the king of the Zulu people was fighting people in Mozambique and most people in Mozambique didn't want to be part of the Zulu land some of them they didn't want to be colonized by the Zulu king King Shaka Zulu so they were scattered they decided to find lands in other places. That's why you realize 
Enkiani Mpuma Enkiani Mpumalanga Messina Kapungeni Elim Toyando There's people who are Tonga Because we were scattered all over the African South mostly Southern African hemispheres I know my history I know how Gazankulu came about I know it most people who call people who go against their fake agendas of calling African people foreigners and amakwere kwere most people if you go against them with their stupid agendas of calling our African brothers and sisters amakwere kwere like me I don't agree with calling our African brothers and sisters amakwere kwere they will go against me they will even call me a fellow South African a kwere kwere they only call you a kwere kwere when you don't agree with them they don't genuinely mean it they don't mean it they don't even know what kwere kwere means they don't know the history behind why people should be called foreigners they don't they are not even interested in knowing they just emotional they just want to call everyone they don't like and everyone who doesn't agree with their fake agendas kwere kwere they call people they don't like kwere kwere even if you are part of their family they know you you are their brother or sister they will still call you kwere kwere these people so this is what we are up against as south africa the the colonizers have done a great job because look now the civil war before we even talk about the civil war within africa we have a civil war within south africa south african people like to act like they are one they like to say rainbow nation but we all know south african people amongst themselves don't even like each other the zulu people don't like the sutu people the sutu people don't even like the peri people but they come from the same lineage of basutu of batwana of bapedi they don't even know the Zulu people will hate vendor people. The Zulu people will hate Kosa people. But we want to claim because we're South African, we are one. We don't even like each other within the country we live in. Before we even go into Africa, we have a civil war in South Africa. And then they want to say, how oh, decent, you speak too much. What's the solution? I don't have a solution. I will take care of my people, my kids, my family and everyone around me and I'll continue speaking the truth and I'll continue speaking history as it is I won't sugarcoat it because people will get emotional I'm not beat like that I don't care about your emotions I don't know you so I'll speak the truth the way it is I won't sugarcoat it and those who are intelligent and smart will receive it proper and those who what are they? They're not stupid. There's another word. Those who are foolish, those who are asinine, they will take it anyhow they want to take it. I don't care about them anyways. They don't pay my bills. So, yeah, man. As South African people, we need to do more research before we start speaking on the internet and commenting. Because when you read comments, on mostly on my videos, most people really don't know where they come from. Most people don't even know when South Africa was, when the name South Africa was invented. Most people don't even know when the borders were created. Most people don't even know about the Berlin Conference. Most people don't even know about the history of the Bantu people. Hey, 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 hey. It's scary the world we live in. But hey, who am I? Decent Q. I'm just a, a normal guy out here in the internet trying to wake people up in hopes of that people wake up. If they choose not to wake up, hey man, it's none of my problem. I did my job. I spoke. I spoke what I knew to be true. I spoke up. I didn't choose to be a coward. I didn't choose to sit down and not speak up. I spoke up. I'll be proud of myself and I'll be proud and I know my ancestors will be proud of me and I know God is proud of me and I know my parents are proud of me and I know my loved ones, people around me are proud of me because they see the great work I'm doing they see I'm not just in the social media just to, to make money and just to mislead people 
I'm actually here to help people understand things on a deeper level. So I'm proud of myself and I'm happy with the life I live. And I'm a religious person, I'm a Muslim. Yes, I'm Tonga, Nim Changani, Nim Tonga, whatever you wanna call it, Nim Kwere Kwere, I'm a Kwere Kwere, I'm a foreigner, I'm a Shangani, I'm a Tonga, I'm a Bantu people, I'm a Ntu people. Whatever you want to call me, it's fine. I know who I am, I know where I come from. I know my father, I know my mother, I know my father's father, I know my mother's father, I know my father's mother, I know my mother's mother, I know my grandfather's father, I know my grandfather. I know it from whether my paternal family or my maternal family. I know my history. That's why I'm not scared to speak here on the internet with things like this because I know myself. So I'm not intimidated by comments calling me quere quere or whatever. Nah, it doesn't hit home. Trust me, it doesn't hit home. It just exposes how less intelligent most people are. But hey, YouTube, thank you very much. Thank you for everyone who keeps on supporting. Amen.